What's up everybody? Today, we are decorating the mega base, but there's a twist. I asked you guys to give me theme ideas for all the rooms in my mega base, and the comments were flooded with the theme overgrown, which, you know, it makes sense. It's very fitting for my empire, and I like it a lot. Besides the overall theme, you guys also have some really fun room ideas as well. So with your comments, I went around and I placed the ideas on a bunch of signs throughout the castle. Here's where I'm thinking they could go. In this tiny room on the front right, we could have a small garden. On the left, we could have a bouncy slime room. In this area, we could have a giant tree with some bees. I saw a couple of comments from you guys talking about bringing some bees into this new base, and I thought that was a great idea. In this main large room, we're gonna have a grand staircase leading up to that balcony area, and this space is also going to serve as a throne room. But the thrones aren't coming yet. That'll be saved for later. Because of the shape of this back room, I thought it'd be perfect for a dining area. What is this one? Oh, this isn't from you guys. This is uh, this is like a note to self so that I don't forget to decorate the hallway. This is a very large hallway and I need to remember to at least add some carpets and little decor pieces. And then besides that, I also need to detail all of the entrances. But anyway, moving on. This room is one of my favorites. I just love the windows in here. I think it's really cool. And because it's so cool, it only makes sense that this should be the potion room or actually the potiani room because apparently I can't spell. Continuing down the hallway, I want to make this space the library and on either side of the library we have these really teeny tiny rooms that um well clearly it's a secret but we could disguise these areas as innocent studies or just places to read now if we go upstairs this room is gonna be the portal room and i don't know how i'm gonna do this yet but um this top area is going to be an aquarium. If I just fill all these openings up with glass, I think it should work. Now if we head over this way to where the main balcony is, right over here, I decided that this back balcony area would be perfect for some rainbow sheep. Then if we continue to go upstairs, this is going to be the cloud room. I saw the coolest comment from someone saying that I should have a cloud room, and I think they said that I should have put beds in the clouds, so this could kind of be like a guest space. Just imagine how cute this would be with floating clouds everywhere. Up here in this tiny baby tower, I really did not know what to put here. And because it is so small, I figured that it could just be a tower of banners. So whenever I get a banner from an ally, I could just put it in here. Now all around this level of the build, we have this balcony that surrounds the entire thing. But over here, we actually have a small room that I will have to make like a little entrance for in here. But basically, I'm just going to break some of this open and turn this space into a geode enchanting room. Now if we go upstairs one last time, this final space is going to be my bedroom. Now that I've shown you where I put all your comments, it's time for the since the majority of you suggested an overgrown theme for this build, we're gonna add a bit of variety by letting a wheel spin decide which flowers we should add to each room. My mega base has about 15 rooms, which means our wheel has 15 different flower types. Okay, now first things first, I wanna get all the boring stuff out of the way, like building the staircase and doing the entrance details, and then when I'm done, we can start decorating. Look at this grand staircase. There's two sets of stairs on either side and basically it just goes up this way and then you turn this way, then you go up this way and now you're on the balcony. Speaking of balconies, I also added stairs on either side of this back area so that we could get up to the next floor. <gasps> I forgot to detail this part. There we go. That looks so much better. While I was doing this, I had the thought to add a really cool chandelier hanging from the ceiling because this is quite empty here. Also, it's a bit dark. But then I remembered that the room above this one is the one with the floating clouds. So it would be kind of cool if we had a glass ceiling. That way when we look up, we could see the clouds above. Before we get into all of that, I think we should go around each room and make it overgrown. We could start by adding a bunch of glow berries. I think I would like to have a carpet starting at the entrance leading to the dining area. So maybe around the sides, we can break some of this flooring, replace it with moss and bone meal it. Let's do the same thing over on this side. We could add some to this room and we could add some to the front. Oh, you know what else would look really cool in this main room? Overgrown flowers. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa. This looks amazing. Look at the flowers. I'm going to quickly add some greenery to the rest of the rooms and then I'll be back. The greenery has been placed. So now let's decorate. I think we should start with the dining room. So I'm thinking we can make a table like this, but super long. Then in the middle above the table, I want to hang a bunch of lanterns. So we have one, two, three, four, five. On the table, we could add some flower pots with some Lily of the Valley flowers and some pink tulips. And then to match the blue lanterns, we could add some blue candles. Should we add a bit of detailing to these windows? I think yes. The dining room is adorable. Oh, but wait, I added flowers to these flower pots and I didn't do the wheel spin. Okay, are you ready to see what we get? A short bluette. I love that flower. Let's just take these out of the pots and we'll replace them with these. Cute. Next, I want to do the bee room. For this space, I feel like we should add some more glow berries. And I was going to build a tree in here, but there's already an azalea bush. Do you think we could bone me a little good shaped tree? If it looks weird, I'll fix it. But let's give it a try. It's not weird. That's actually pretty decent. Okay. Now, if I'm going to put some bees in here... One, um, I need to bring some bees. And two, I'm gonna have to cover this area with glass so that they don't escape. So we're gonna need some glass panes to cover up this area and this area. Okay, well, before the sun goes down, let's fly over to my bee base to get some bees. Hello, would two of you like to come with me to my new castle? Get out the door, out the door. Are you stuck? What are you doing? Get out the door. What are you doing? <gasps> Got him. We're on a journey to the castle. Let's go, friends. Now, before I put them in their spot, let's see what flower they're gonna get. What's it gonna be? Tulips! We were pretty lucky to not get the wither rose. That, that would not have been good. We'll put some pink tulips over here and some white tulips over here. No, 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 don't come out. You stay. <gasps> no! <gasps> We've got a baby! All right, the dining room is done. The bee room is done. So now let's finish up this section by adding the slime bouncy room and the small garden. Since this is kind of a small space for a garden, I decided that we're only going to plant potatoes, carrots, and wheat. I'm thinking we could put wheat in this corner, carrots in this corner, and potatoes in the front. The bouncy slime room is going to kind of be the same where I break the floor to add some grass for the flowers and to also obviously add some slime. Ooh, slimy. Okay. Now let's see what flowers I'm going to add to these two rooms. The farm is going to get blue orchids. And the bouncy room is going to get <gasps> wither roses. That kind of makes the fun bouncy playroom a little bit less fun. Well, anyway, I have blue orchids that we could put in the farming room, but I don't have any wither roses. Well, hello there. <laughs> the wither roses have been acquired. Nobody tell. Ah. Uh, this was supposed to be a fun room, but now it's questionable. Well, I'm just gonna avoid that. And let's move on to the potion room. For the potion room, I want to make four tables like this. Then this table can have a brewing stand. We could pretend that these flower pots are cups. We could add some glass bottles to these item frames. We can pretend that these buttons are some kind of secret potion ingredient. And then we could add some cauldrons. For each potion table, I was thinking we can use a purple slab as a chair. We could add some spider webs for a spooky vibe. And then we can add some more overgrown stuff. Now for the final touch, we need to add some floating candles. Whoa, this room is awesome. But we need to figure out what flower it's getting. What will it be? What will it be? <gasps> Alliums! Allium, 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 allium. Cute! On to the library. Now, technically, this library area has three rooms, so once we finish decorating, we'll be able to do three wheel spins. Oh, and we should probably figure out how we're gonna get to the upper floors from here. We'll figure that out later. I kinda wanna get rid of this window and just put a massive fireplace here. We could build up something like this. Let's go ahead and add some campfires in here, and then in the front, we could have some iron bars. 
Now, this wouldn't be a library without books, so I'm gonna place bookshelves everywhere. Hanging by the fireplace, we could add some glowberries. And then in front of the fireplace, I want to add a couch. Oh, that's kind of cute. Maybe now we can add my banner to the fireplace. And then we can add some candles and flower pots to the bookshelves. Now, both of these side rooms are just going to be little study spaces. So both of these spaces could have a desk and a chair with a bunch of books. And now that we have all this, let's see what the wheel says. The library will get lilacs. Then one of the side rooms will have sunflowers. And the other one will get lilies. So this room gets the sunflowers. This room gets the lilies. And the library gets the lilacs. Now that all the rooms on the bottom floor of this build have been decorated, it's time to go upstairs. Now this balcony doesn't need too much decoration, but it is going to be interesting getting sheep up here. So let's grab my leads. We'll take some wheat and we'll grab a sheep. But you know you can walk around that, right? Come on, silly. We're going on an adventure. Oh my god, please. Please do not fall off. We're almost there. Just one more step. You did it. I have a sheep. Are you serious? We get all the way here and you get stuck on the bush. Do I hear pillagers? <gasps> okay, you stay here for now. I gotta go take care of something real quick. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Okay, here we go. Let's add some fences and then we can add some gates so that our sheep don't wander too far out. Then we can name each one Jeb so that they're rainbow. And then they can have a baby. Here you go, little Jeb. I feel like these stairs might be a problem. Um, oh, oh, please be careful. I'm just gonna add some safety gates for now. There we go. Now let's see what flower they'll get. Da da da. <gasps> Azaleas! Wait, this is perfect! Not only can we add the bushes, but we can add the pot azaleas and we can grow some azalea trees because we're outside. This is so pretty. Hope you guys like your new spot. Next up is the cloud room. And if you noticed in any of the previous clips, I already put glass in the floor. So while you're up here, you can look down into the main room. And if you're down here, you can look up into the cloud room. Ta-da! Is this the most practical way to have sleepovers? No, but it looks kind of cute. And it looks like this room is gonna get daisies. Oh my God. First of all, how are you there? And second of all, why are you here? How did you get out? <gasps> this enclosure is not safe. Until I can make this safer, you're just gonna have to stay like that. Where did the sheep go? <gasps> there you are. Oh my god, I thought you fell off. Well, I'm gonna have to fix that. Not right now, though, because I have to place these daisies. Ta-da. Now, since there's only five more smaller rooms to decorate, I'm gonna go quickly do that, and then when I get back, we can find out what flowers they get. All of the rooms in my castle have finally been decorated. So let's find out what flowers are gonna go in the last five rooms and then we can go on a tour. The banner room will be getting dandelions, which is perfect because they match some of the banners from my allies. For the enchantment room, we're gonna get poppies. There we go. Now let's see what the portal room is gonna get. It was close, but the portal room is gonna get rose bushes. The aquarium is gonna get corn flowers, which means my bedroom gets peonies. How am I gonna put corn flowers in a fish tank? You know what? We could just put some flower pots on the balconies. Oh, I love these flowers. I'm officially obsessed, but you know what? I think it's time to go on a tour. Let's start this off with the main room, and I actually ended up changing a few things, mainly the staircase. I replaced the jungle wood staircase with quartz just because it felt like there was a lot of wood going on, and everything was kind of blending together. This, though, this looks great. But yeah, so we have the grand staircase in the central part of the room. We have some giant flowers. We've got a central carpet leading to the dining room. There's a bunch of overgrown stuff and crystals in here. And we've got a really cool looking ceiling. On the left, we have our dangerous bouncy slime castle death room. Then over here, we have the room for my bees, but I think they're upstairs right now. Wait, 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 let me go see. Oh my gosh, they're looking out the window. They look so cute. 
Well, anyway, continuing on on this floor, we have a miniature garden area. Down this hallway, we have a potion room. We have a library over here that has some little bonus spaces on either side. Then if we go up this ladder in the corner, this will bring us up to our portal room. Then if we go around the back up this ladder, this brings us to the aquarium. It's not much, but I think it looks cute. Now if we go upstairs on this side of the castle, we've got a little rainbow sheet balcony. Then up here we have the cloud room where my friends can sleep over. Tucked away in this corner we have a geode enchanting room. Up here we have a tiny tower for my allies' banners. And then at the very top of the castle, we have my bedroom. I love this room. Do you see how pretty this is? The peonies make it even better. But look, in the middle here, I have a cool canopy bed. I decorate it with a bunch of banners and lanterns. Over here I have a desk, and there's a bunch of plushies. Sitting at my desk, there's a miniature plushie of me. Then over here we have a fishy plushie. And then on my bed and on the step over here, we have sheet plushies. Was that everything? I think that was everything. Out of all the rooms, in this place. I think my bedroom is my favorite. But okay, now that everything is decorated, I'm gonna go hang out with my plushies in my new bedroom. Let me know in the comments which room is your favorite. If you're a new viewer, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.